A round of applause for yourself if you made it this far for this secret VFX green screen tutorial in Blender. This is the part 2 where we get to talk about lighting the scene. Well, as you can see, I deleted the low poly car we had before and I replaced it with this one. I'm going to provide a link in the description where you guys can get it from. Exactly the same car. I also changed the color to a darker blue kind of color. Okay, let's get started. So, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the whole scene from the top here and I'm just going to rotate it like this so that in a way that we are facing the front view so 90 degrees yeah this is now our front view so let me quickly create my first light i'm going to bring in an area light i'm going into the settings and i'm changing it from square to rectangle then i go to the top view and i move the light this way and i just make it look slim a bit like a tube light okay so I'm going to raise the light and place the light here. So I'm going to use Alt D to duplicate this light. Alt D, not Shift D. And again. So I'm going to select all these lights and I'm going to kind of move it into the shot a bit because it looks like they're outside so also remember to always save your work i'm currently on the material preview and then um, i'm going to make sure that these guys are turned on which is my scene lights and them um, scene world so that we can see what the light is doing okay I'm not really focusing on the color of the light and the intensity of the light right now. I'm just trying to populate the scene with the amount of lights I need. So I'm going to use Alt D again to duplicate this whole light and I'm going to move them to the other side of the scene like this. Exactly. So I'm going to bring in a sunlight, Shift A, then go into your lights and bring in sunlight the position of the sunlight does not really matter in blender only the rotation does so i'm still going to raise it up here then i'm going to rotate it just a little bit this way right or this way um, let's just leave it this way yep so like I said, I'm focusing on populating the scene with the amount of lights I need. I'm not really working on the intensity or the color of the light right now. So I'm going to bring in a new light. This time around, we are going to bring in a point light. So from the top view, I'm going to put the uh, point light here. Then I'm going to raise it up. So we are just painting the environment, painting the scene, adding some lights to create a story. So it's just going to look like some kind of light is coming from the back of our car here and it's lighting the car up, separating the car from the background. Yeah, so let me leave it here for now. So I'm going to bring in another point light and this time around i'm going to place this one inside our car i don't know if i'm going to finally use it but let's put it here for now so i want it to look like there's some light coming from inside the car like this yep yes okay then i think this is the last light that i want to use this last one Okay, I'm going to create another point light. Yes, yeah, point. And go to the top view and move the light this way. Yep. And just raise it up a bit. Okay, I almost forgot this one, which is the headlights of our car. We are supposed to put some lights there. So for that particular light, I'm going to bring in a spotlight, yes. So 
so let's start dealing with the color of light and the color of and the intensity of light so the first thing i would love to do is go into my environment settings that is after saving my work and make sure that the strength of my world is um, zero already done that then i'm going to turn this guy to a yellow light i'm also going to increase the power sometimes i just play with numbers and see what works so let's go with 100 okay well as you can see it is too bright so i'm going to reduce it a bit to let's say 50 or 30 then just change the color of the light to something like this yep okay I think we have something going on right now okay then for the car headlights for the car headlights I'm going to give it mm, a little bit of blue I don't know and just increase my power here let's see what 200 looks like okay right now we cannot see this light because what's going on the light is is actually working but we don't have haze in the scene that's why we cannot see the light yes as you can see the light is working you can see the light on the ground here is working so let's control Z and let's just keep it like that let's leave it there let's pack it there for this light that is coming from the back of our car I would love to make it a blue light yep so let's go and make it into a blue light like this and just make it very powerful let's say like 200 Okay, starting to look like it's too much, but let's play around the placement of the light a bit. So just move it this way a bit. Let's see what this gives us. Okay, this is not bad, but we can block the light with this this thing I have here. Where's the light? just trying to block this light a bit from hitting the background then I'm going to increase the size of the light a bit so where it says size let's say 0.1 and see what it looks like for this particular point light we have here I think I'm going to copy exactly what the light at the back here is doing so I'm going to change this one also to a blue light then I'm going to give it a bit of size also so let's say 0.3 this one should be bigger so the bigger the size the softer the light so the smaller the size the more harsh the light is so let's go with 100 here okay I think it's too much so let's do 50 yep as well move this guy to kind of light the gates we have here so if you check you notice that the lift is missing currently we don't have a lift so i'm going to quickly do something rough just for the sake of the tutorial this is nothing serious i'm going to quickly roughly build something but you can use the same plugin we used in bringing the car which is sketch fab you can use the same plugin to like search for a, a lift or probably go to a place like CG Trader and get a free lift from there.
okay this light is helping us to illuminate our character to bring him out okay let's let's see some of the options we have in ev let's turn on the ambient occlusion let's turn on the screen space reflections let's turn on the motion blur and let's turn on the bloom also okay i'm going to increase the power of this light a bit these tube lights we have here so i'm going to turn them to 60 because my scene is a little bit dark then i can take a look at the sun i created here i need to turn this sun or moonlight to the evening time kind of color which is something related to blue like this then let's see what it looks like also okay then i can play with the power a bit let's see five okay it's too much i guess it's too much let's stick with let's also look at the before and after let's see the work the light is doing so we have before and after okay it's cool it's okay so i'm going into my render settings here and from color management i'm going to turn this whole thing to high contrast let's see what we are looking like okay i think this is looking beautiful already so i'm going to save my work one more time then i'm going to focus on the light that like pushes our car out of the dark because currently as you can see the car is missing so let me quickly bring in a cube here so this cube is going to serve as our fog it's going to create some fog for us to make the whole scene a little bit foggy so let's go to the top view and then um, scale the the cube to cover the whole area okay so from the viewport display I'm going to change this guy from texture to bounce so that we can see through and I'm going to make sure that it's not possible for us to select it anymore so I need to turn something on here which is this guy this triangle this arrow so I'm going to off the selection so no matter what I can no longer select the fog so I'm going to head into the material of the fog create a new material here then just delete this guy because we don't need the surface then you just search for principle then you pick this volume and you plug this guy into volume then let's see what we can see here so let's take this density down a bit let's make it zero, uh, point zero 0.05 this is not bad but i believe cycles can do a better job for the speed and for performance sake i'm working in ev okay i'm using 0 0.03 and i'm going to start to tweak my lights a bit so for the tube light i'm going to make it more yellow in color add a little bit of more saturation something like this okay i'm loving it then i'm going to turn this to an area light because it's easy to control this than a point light so go to the top view and just turn this guy into a rectangle light then shape it a little bit like this yep i think we are getting a bit of controlled lighting right now then we get to rotate it a bit but make sure you don't do too much then take it back a little bit okay i'm just going to leave this one here okay i got this tube light from the sketchfab add-on the light is made up of two objects so i'm going to simply join the both of them together by selecting them and clicking ctrl j so i'm going to move the light to where my where my lift is
as you can see here our bad boys are looking good okay let's do a test render always remember to save your work this is the final render from ev we can see some funny stuffs around the headlights of the car but if you make it of something like cycles you can get the perfect and the best result out so take your time play around with your tools and your render engines and see what works for you okay see you guys on the last one which is the rendering and the animation of the whole thing please don't forget to subscribe like and share with your loved ones thank you